the first thing you do is install your devidip into the devicore running gear. So grab your devicore wrenches and open up the devicore. Then screw the top cap and then grab your devidip. Install it so that the black pin on the devidip aligns with the groove in the orientation outer tube, the black plastic part. Slide it in and then remount the top cap of the devicore. Grab your devicore wrenches and tighten. The next thing is to remove the check valve from your original head assembly. Remove both the check valve and the ball. Then mount the check valve and the ball onto your devicore. Then grab your devicore and mount the top threads to the head assembly. And the bottom threads to your inner tube. Use the devicore wrenches to tighten. Then mount your extension barrel from the devicore kit behind the front reamer. You are now ready to start the devicore. So open up the devicore app and then start the devicore by putting the magnet in the designated groove next to the lead lens. It will now start blinking rapidly. It will automatically connect to the app. Once connected, press start orientation. Then input your whole name. And then press start. Your first devicore can now be pumped into your drill hole. In a water filled hole, lower the inner tube assembly by dropping. In a dry hole or a hole with a low water table, lower it by wire line. You can then start drilling as normal. When the drill run is over, stop the drill string rotation, reduce the water flow, and then input your depth in the app say 30 meters and then press mark now wait until the do not move message has disappeared and the button has turned green again you will now be prompted to break the core without rotation and retrieve the inner tube after that's done press next to start a new run activate your next tool with the magnet in the designated hole the devicore should now start blinking rapidly before connecting to the app. You will now get a message on the app saying starting a tool with a serial number of your tool. The second inner assembly is now ready to be run in the hold. So after picking up the first inner tube assembly, we are going to wake up the devicore with the magnet in the designated hole until the lead starts blinking rapidly. The inner tube assembly that was just down the hole and was connected, will now automatically download the core angles from the tool. And you will get to a screen with a dial. This is where we orient the tool. So just orient your full energy assembly with the core until the red line aligns with the gray line. The line will then turn green once you've reached your target core orientation. And this is how the core was when it was down the hole. So now grab your core level and your core marker and mark up either on the high side or the low side depending on what the geologist has decided. Continue to follow this process step by step until the end of shift or until core orientation is no longer necessary. When the core orientation is no longer required, instead of activating your next energy assembly, Wait until you've completed drilling and broken the core, and then retrieve the inner tube assembly that's down the hole. Then start up that tool 
by using the magnet in the designated hole. The core angle will be automatically downloaded and now you orient the core similarly to what you've been doing previously. Should you have any questions or encounter any problems, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Devico supplier or Devico directly at our website.